You don't need complex Photoshop tools. With just PowerPoint, you can create a creative and practical outline text effect that will make your slides stand out, impressing your audience. The process is simple, involving only four layers. The background image, the cutout main image, and two text boxes with different effects. By rearranging them in this order, a dynamic effect emerges as images or text move. When selecting a background image, opt for pictures with prominent lines to highlight the main subject. Let's start the production process. Insert the pre-prepared images to fill the entire page. Click on the image. Then, holding down control, observe a plus sign on the mouse cursor, signifying the copy shortcut. While holding control, drag the image down to create a duplicate. Click on the picture format tab. Select the first remove background function in PowerPoint. You'll see the parts marked in purple that will be deleted. Given PowerPoint's editing limitations, manual adjustments will likely be necessary. Use the red brush to mark areas for deletion and the green brush for preservation. This may require several repetitions. Though not as precise as Photoshop, the effect is sufficient and easy to achieve. Align the processed image with the original background. You should see that they align very well, with almost no traces of processing visible. Next, insert a title text. Enter the appropriate text content. Here, I have chosen the impact font size 185. The font color is white, and then center the text. Click on the text box, then hold down the control key and drag downwards to duplicate the text box. Access the format shape options by right-clicking. Set the font to have no fill. The border should be white, with a width of two points. To make sorting easier, we need to name the four elements on the page. Open the menu and select Select Pane. Name the outline text, outline text, and the original text, text. Name the original picture and cutout picture as picture and cutout picture. Then, follow the sorting method mentioned earlier to organize the elements. Place the outline text layer on top. Position the solid text between the cutout and original images. This way, we have successfully achieved a preliminary effect. Next, let's add an animation effect to make the image more interesting. Select the cutout and original images. Add a grow slash shrink effect in the animations. Set the start time to with previous. Duration should be 3 seconds. Then, click on the animation panel to further adjust the animation. Adjust the magnification effect to 120%. Set smooth start and smooth end both to 1 second. Select auto reverse. Then, in the timing section, set the animation time to until end of slide. This way, the animation effect will continuously grow and shrink, creating a dynamic effect. That's it for today's effect sharing. The outline text effect is very practical. If you like this effect, feel free to try it out yourself. I am Dream. Feel free to follow my channel for more interesting content.